Chevrolet. Oh, I love these bedroom communities. Yes. Anyhow, horn busted. Somewhere, satellite. Somewhere, I had one of these brand new horn thingies. And I don't know where it is. I don't understand why I can't find it in this mess. So, I'm going to crank this grinder up. Let's see if I can make a tiny slot for my horn wire. take much. 20 bucks for a new one and I can't find it. How does that work? I think that'll work. Maybe I've got it. I hope. I put some scotch tape. Invisible. In and of a brake system. Exact cut. No waste. What? Made in China. And uh, put some scotch tape around it to hold it in place. And uh, this actually fits through the hole in the steering wheel. Put it back on, put my grinder away, and uh, we're good to go. No, oh. not more black gloves. Oh, I don't want to wear those black gloves anymore. It's too hot. No, oh, black glove syndrome. Safety corp. Just dump them in. Black. Trade you for a black suburban door. <laughs> All right. Just pop this baby on. What happens is when people pull off the horn cap, they break that little tab. It's so fragile. And perfect. Good to go, even though I cut down the spring to relieve tension. Saddle driver participation. Antique Automobile Club. Chevrolet. Slab sided 64 Impala. Beautiful. Original 283 Power Glide. All this thing needs spike punk. Corvair hold downs is a 700 R4. Power steering, power brakes. And a beautiful light blue Impala. Hey, this would go well with Radio Wild's 65 El Camino. Same color. Four speed El Camino. Sixty-four. Wow, nice car. Low miles? What's the mileage on it? Uh, Hundred and four thousand. Beautiful stainless steel. Just barely fits in the garage. This is a nice car. Is it local? Yeah. Rustville? Well, someone didn't drive this in the winter, I tell you. Up to clean. Proper alternator, too. I wonder if the date code is right on it. Need some spring ring battery cables and some spring hose clamps. Clunk. T3s. Three T3s. Chevrolet. Le Mans convertible. Almost a GTO. There's always something to make a video of. Doesn't matter what you're doing or where you're going or where you are. Rusty. Same color as mine. Chevrolet with the topper. Where are we? We're in North Tanawanda, Buffalo, New York. We stayed for an hour. We're hitting the road. We've got 300 miles to Galleon, Ohio. Ford. And I'm off course already. Replanning a route. Where the heck am I going? 400 miles to Buffalo, and we're hitting the road to Galleon, Ohio with 300 more miles. It's a nice bedroom community. I wish I could afford to live in one of these houses. Uh-oh. Went the wrong way. Hmm. I'll have to turn around and go back. North Panawanda, New York. Hot tub covers. I always wanted a hot tub cover. 
that's where to get it. On the road, Galleon, Ohio, as soon as we get unlocked. Well, we're on the road, heading towards Galleon, and here's a rare beast. A stripper, four-wheel drive suburban with clear windows. Suburban GMC. Gotta love it. Chevrolet, like a rock. University at Buffalo, Lockport. Too bad we didn't have the time to hang around and see a few people. But we gotta go. We're gonna be in Ohio at seven o'clock tonight. I wanted to be there after lunch. How about after dinner? Some people call lunch dinner. Town of Anawanda. Can't see that because there. 292 more miles to go. How fast am I going? 70 to 55. That's not good. Be ticket time. Nice place to visit. It's a beautiful day. It's a free country and don't forget our troops. Keep this freedom free. We're lucky to be here and lucky to be alive. Shopping corridor. 290 eastbound. Next stop, Galleon, Ohio. And I'm going to need some fuel soon. Hey, what happened to my satellite signal? Fun, fun, fun. Float ATVs. Water cooled. Yep. Water cooled, air cooled, two stroke, four stroke. Who knows what they are? Having fun. Sucking fuel. As long as you got your own supply of it. Very interesting. Uh oh. Toll booth time. Son of a gun. I guess we're leaving New York. Entering Pennsylvania in a minute. I gotta deal with this dead easy pass again. I guess you wanna meet the toll booth taker, don't you, huh? Okay. Mm. The car parks here right in the middle from Maine. Oh, I wonder who we're going to get today. I've got an easy pass. That doesn't work. Like my sun pass. I got so many freaking receipts, bills in the mail, 25 cents, 50 cents, for the six dollar service charge from Alamo. Hi, can you see if you can punch that in? I just paid the bill and it's not working or it should work, I just don't want to spend the cash, if you, if you could do it. I can't hear what they're saying, too noisy. I wonder why it's not working. I just I asked my wife, is that the bill's paid? I don't use it very much. I just got a new one. It got it in September. I marked the date. I have a whole bunch. Uh, thank you very much. Bye. That's oh, really sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, these bloody pieces of junk. Like I was saying, I had a sun pass for Florida. I came back, and every three days I get a receipt from Alamo saying they paid the 25 cent toll, the dollar toll, but they have to charge me a six dollar administration fee. So we're up to close to a hundred dollars in administration fees. Adult Superstore, stop right up and park in the back so nobody can see you. 
Well, where are we? 101 miles to Galleon, Ohio. Adult Superstore. Edible panties. That's what everybody needs. Edible panties. Somewhere soon we're going to see a sign that says, Welcome to Pennsylvania. Somebody asked me how I make my videos and don't go off the road while I'm pointing the camera at what I want to point it to. I'll tell you my secret. I don't look at where I'm pointing the camera. I just sort of guess. I sort of know because the lens is more or less pointing straight ahead between my hand when you're holding it. So I just sort of guess where I want the lens to be. And I turn around and glance once in a while and I keep one and three quarter eyes on the road and a quarter eye on the camera. And this truck is actually for 278,000 miles, which is getting awfully close to 500,000 kilometers. Thing goes down the road pretty nice, considering I did not have a wheel alignment done. I just guessed where those cam washers were on the upper control arms, and I put them back where they belong and tighten the heck out of them. Line country, western New York. Oh, welcome to Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, way station. Maybe I'll stop on in and see what this beast weighs. Wine country. Nice and sunny. The wines look good. The wine grapes are looking good. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Governor Rendell. I hope she's a nice governor. I hope I don't get to meet her. Oh, I don't think I tightened my steering wheel. Ah, uh, trucks, buses, RVs. What am I? I'm a T-Ruck. Kind of a neat welcome center. Around. Oh, there's two Yorkies. Hey, baby. Uh, I miss mugs. Chevy! Welcome to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania welcome. Hi, Pennsylvania. Hey, I saw something interesting. The Haz, who hosted me last night, very nice of him. The Haz and David, his uh, roommate, put up with me, so I must thank them. I should send them a thank you note like my mother used to always teach me. Send people a thank you note and don't just write thanks in it. Anyways, I should thank them because it was very nice of them to host me. And I forget what I was telling you. Oh, he showed me the first video he saw on YouTube. The first video was whereismat.com. I'd never heard about it. It's this guy, Matt, who was a computer programmer. Put that away. And he made lots of money, and he travels the world, and he dances for YouTube. It's kind of cool. I watched it, and I watched the sequel and the outtakes. Where is Matt? Yeah, look at it. It's real nice. We've got 15, 20 minutes to spare. Trimmed. Yeah, this truck's going down the road real nice. You like my hidden camera? Right there. Face detection. Chevrolet in Pennsylvania. Whereismat.com. So thank you, David, for hosting me and the has. And uh, maybe we'll stop on back sometime. Chevrolet. Looks like we're on a step. Looking good, huh? Yeah, lucky to buy that truck. I bought it off a of Craigslist sight unseen from a fellow in Bend, Oregon, the middle of Oregon. Oh, hardware store here. Nuts and bolts. It's a lock nuts, extra thin. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Uh oh. Packed out. with a beautiful stripe across the cowl induction hood with no power steering. Armstrong power steering. Yeah, baby. Wow, what a beauty. Anyhow, where were we? I have to fill up. This baby is empty. Empty. Traffic jam and U.S. loses World Cup soccer. Shame. Taking the Columbus exit. We're in Ohio, Toledo, Columbus. And what do I see? Black and gold, or black and silver. Isuzu. Honda Passport. Honda. Uh, oh, which way are we going here on this GPS? Uh oh, excuse me. I think my lane's on me. 
Toledo, Ohio, Columbus. Wow, new bridge, all shiny. No rust yet. Oh, starting on those columns. Doesn't take long. The rebar starts popping through. Get some stress racks, and over she goes. Infrastructure. Sure works well when it works well. I've got the air conditioning on, but my compressor at higher speeds goes quick. I don't think my pump is doing too well. TGIF, it's Friday and I'm stuck in rush hour go home traffic. Oh well. Could be worse. Could be walking. Chevy! You wanted a cheap Chevy? You wanted it black black, you had to paint it yourself. 84, half ton, short bed, custom deluxe. Straight six, three on the tree. Not even warning lamps, not even gauges. Cheapy model. I wonder if they could have made a diesel in this version. One option only. Short bed, it's got big springs, it's not too rusty. It's from Florida originally. Flat black Chevrolet with a big chrome step bumper with a nice thick plate. Ohio. Beautiful Ohio. Yeah, it's lifted in the back. Chevrolet half ton. Custom deluxe. Those mirrors were optional. Came with a tiny little mirror, so it's got one option. One option. One option and a padded steering wheel. This is a different steering wheel. 88 and up. I got one on mine from an S10 Blazer, it's got a thicker rim, go figure. Chevrolet, outline white leather tires, flat black, and ready for some light duty hauling. I don't think you're working too hard, it doesn't look too dirty. <laughs> I should have heard you, when you cranked it up, it smoked a lot. The guys like the diesels when they smoke. Two wheel drive, custom hey, deluxe. Lucas in that, in that oil. Yeah, lots of it. Armstrong, <laughs> Armstrong power steering, huh? Yep, yep. No power steering, no power brakes. Yeah, more stuff to break. <laughs> Keeps in shape. Yeah. Chevrolet. Sounds like a V8. It's got a good rumble. We're in Ohio somewhere on the way to Galleon, Ohio. Oh, someone's getting transported out of here. On the record. All right, into McDonald's for some free water. We don't need no stinking soda. Three on the tree, no power steering or brakes. Yeah. 24 hours. And fill her up. Where are we? Communications come up with an eye. Very loud. The crease hole break mask with an iPad on the altar. Let's see now. Oh boy. I'm gonna fill this baby up and I'll show us where we are. Oh yeah, 28 gallons plus 10. <laughs> No custom deluxe for me. I get top of the line. Two eighty-nine a gallon. Cheapest I've seen it. Luckily, I waited. It was three nineteen, three oh nine. I put in some for two ninety-nine. Some off road. Don't tell anybody. Oh, fill her up. Thirty gallons. Just about forty gallons. I'll tell you how many miles I did. I'll figure out my fuel mileage. Fill her right up to the brim. Whoop. Splash. Let's see. I'll get 30 gallons in. Plus 10. Thirty gallons, eighty-seven dollars. Click this baby off. There's something I haven't seen before. Cash acceptor. Hmm. Let's figure out my fuel mileage. Most the highway, 70, 75. Glove off. Yuck. I don't need those stinking diesel fuel on my nice pink hands. It's a glove free vacation. So, oh yeah, my receipt. Thank you. So, so, from here, Adirondacks, 
uh, down to here, through, uh, what was that, to Amsterdam, New York, and then Rochester, Buffalo, Erie, Pennsylvania, and we're going to go to Mansfield, Ohio tonight, which is... Lake Erie, we're going to here, we are here in Ashland, and we're going to Mansfield, Indiana is over here, three more hours. So we have done 654 miles on 40 gallons of fuel. So i got my handy dandy calculator and my new cell phone, turn the CBC down a little bit. Let's see, C for calculator, no, C for calendar. 650, I can't hold the I'm not that right. 654 divided by 40. If it was 15 miles per gallon, it would be 600. So I'm getting 16 point change miles per gallon. So people that tell you they get 22 in a diesel, they're full of, and no air conditioning. Sorry. So 40 times 10 would be 400, times 15 would be 600, times 16 would be 640, 16.5, there, 16.5 miles per gallon. And that's at 70, 75, touching 80 miles an hour. So now you know. And we're in Ashland, Ohio. And it's very pretty here. It's a beautiful day. The weekend's coming up. Corvair show's happening. And I wish I could post these videos on the spot. Yeah. Where is Ashland? Mansfield? There? Give you a little perspective. Yeah. Great Lakes, Canada, Florida. Uh, where's Russia? Russia is over there. And we're going to Indianapolis, Muncie, and then we're going to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which is over Sioux Falls, Sioux City, Fort Dodge, Des Moines, Cedar Rapids. We're going from there to there, another three, four hundred miles. So, I hope we have a nice, safe trip. Put this away in my pilot junk. And uh, hit the road. Beautiful Ashland, Ohio, 289 a gallon. Crank her up. Headlights on for safety.